On August 18, 2008, a group of individuals convened on campus, Maryland College, welcomed by a band of boldly enthusiastic drink students, back to the staff. With sweaty hands and smiling faces, the so-called welcome crew aided this group in carrying their stuff to their new homes, leaving many of them wondering, where was this St. Welcome crew they was talking about? <laughs> this group was embraced and received by the comforting words from our own Reverend Anna Key, and jubilant music from Larry Erdogan and the Voices of Praise. With fist bumps, high fives, hugs, and tears, these newly found members of the Maryland College community said temporary goodbyes to their support systems, writing the first sentence of a new chapter in their lives. This group was joined by some who had done the college thing before, and were now encountering the process with new eyes. Others who were experiencing the college journey while returning to the comfort of their own home at the end of the day. And even others who had left previous institutions, several from different countries, and were embarking on a brand new journey. No matter the background or story, on that scorching hot summer day of August, we joined together for the first time. Over time, we became more than a collective group of individuals, but a family, an intimate force. And this force has been tweaked and updated with appreciated additions and rattling losses. And yet, we assemble here today, unwavering as the class of 2012. We are prepared for the upcoming moment to be named a Maryville College graduate. Embracing the liberal arts education in its truest sense. Maryland College faculty and staff, if you think this merely entails taking a plethora of classes outside our respective areas of study, we're sadly incorrect. We have learned so much more. We have learned to survive the extremities of temperature at Anderson Hall <laughs> and to climb all halls of Mount Everest and stairs. We have learned the importance of a dollar through late night Taco Bell notes. <laughs> we have learned the quintessential times of the day to do laundry so we can sneakily load up all the washers and dryers in the entire world. <laughs> we have learned to wake up at 7.55 a.m. on the dot, roll out of bed, throw on a sweatshirt, brush our teeth sometimes. <laughs> Rub an eye booger out of eye, <laughs> likely sprint to and through Pearson's dining hall, grabbing a bagel, and making it to our 8 o'clock class to get this at the time. <laughs> Most of all, and more importantly, we have learned to live lives of citizenship and leadership as we challenge each one to search for truth, grow in wisdom, <coughs> work for justice, and dedicate a life of creativity and service to the peoples of the world. In turn, these experiences have made us much stronger. It is difficult to introduce a class that is so exemplary. Person personally, I am so honored to be standing among them. Many of these people are my role models. They have inspired me in more ways than they know. Let me give a few examples. Megan Locke, biology major and standout on the softball field, took her senior thesis to another level by studying abroad in Honduras to so-called spy hunt. Sam Jackson, a man that not only bleeds orange and orange, but is also a political juggernaut, is vice mayor. Vice mayor of his hometown in Tennessee. Catherine Hatton, an all academic performer on the volleyball court, conducted research at Oak Ridge National Laboratory that could aid homeland security. Santiago Carrera, a silent leader inside and outside the classroom, used to challenge the past to produce a truly inspiring senior study, and more importantly, impact the lives 
a young, the youngest Bennett males in the sport of soccer. And this is just to name a few. The list goes on and on and on. Athletically, this class city before you brought home 20 great South athletic championships, five great South athletic conference president's cups, and appeared in 11 NCAA Division III national tournaments. We have rallied behind the feats of preseason football All-Americans, Blake Barnes and Blake Barnes and Wesley Adelaide. We have been represented by the likes of Rich Carter and Elise Ray, both academic All-Americans in their respective sports of soft and ball. And as these amazing achievements and accomplishments are noteworthy and characterize the true essence of the course our class is, I would like to take a moment to make a special introduction. Years from today, everyone will remember the Stella Matthews. The admirable leader, the outgoing extrovert. And when we ultimately think about our class, those are the people that will quickly come to mind. However, many graduates sitting among us today have, have performed amazing feats, far beyond any game winning shot or most eloquent speeches. I want to take time to introduce you to the man that persevered through hopelessness and adversity. To the single mother who looked overwhelming odds in the eye and refused to hear no. To the person who everyone had given up on. To the people who were told they would never make it. Guess what? You made it. They were wrong. Today you win. And we all genuinely celebrate with you. Family, friends, faculty, and staff, you are among an outstanding group of people. And yet this marks the final moment where our family will assemble together under Jehovah's mountains, basking in the drones and bagpipes of the ringing mountain. However, we carry the moments that bond us as a united force in our hearts. Family, friends, and members of the Miracle College community, I'm overjoyed to introduce you to our family. Classmates, this is our moment. Our time to embark on the rest of our lives. I am so proud of each of you, and I'm proud to be standing among you today. And no matter where life takes you, no matter what may come your way, always remember this. In the moments this journey called life, when you feel overwhelmed, <coughs> alone, unsupported, know this. Donald Rucker loves you. <laughs>